Gentlemen, you received my instructions earlier for the IBF featherweight title, so you know exactly what I expect. A clean championship fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. See Mark Nelson is 93rd world title fight. Veteran referee from Minnesota. Nearly a thousand right, bouts into his Glenn career. And, and here he has Frank. Abe and Lopez. And Timmy, we spent time okay, with Lopez yesterday discussing what his expectation would be for what he sees out of Abe. And he was very direct. And listen, it's been a little bit of an issue with some of our high-profile main events lately. I'm saying, I just hope he's not moving away from me the whole night. I just hope he's willing to do the kind of fight that I want to put forth for the fans. Oh, I, I mean, that's that's easier said than done, Tess. I mean, you can't control your opponent. He's fighting a fleet-footed boxer, a southpaw at that, a counter-punching southpaw. So he's going to have to track him down. He's better be really good at cutting off the ring tonight. See the pressure right away oh, yeah. from Lopez. As he keeps closing the range, utilizing his footwork, constantly wanting to get right to that kitchen, that wide sweeping left hand. The body comes back with a wide sweeping right hand that's well off the mark. Oh, oh, oh. There's an awkwardness oh, yeah. to Lopez that is very fan friendly. And you love it, and I love it too. He's very explosive. You know, a lot of those shots, he springs up, uses his legs and, and body and momentum and even gravity at times to put power into his punches. There's a body shot to lead off that two punch combination. Five foot four is Lopez. Five foot seven is Abe. Again, right now that right, that two one combination is working for Lopez. That's how he's Stop. getting in the inside the already. And close the distance on Abe, even though we have a 20 by 20 foot ring in here. There it is there again. It is again. A beautiful shot. See, Abe defensive, defensively. Oh, got good, great feet. But where's his hands? They're placed by his waist. That's the problem. Yeah, so he came with that, as you say, the 2 1. But he comes with the right hand to the body yes. and then follows him with the left hand. And just moments ago, Abe was unable to get out of range. See, and that's the perfect combination as well because a southpaw has to respect the right hand that comes. But then, then when that lead hand comes, that lead hand can travel in any direction. And it's been very impressive early on. Just what he's established <laughs> with the right hand to the body. Oh! Against Abe. Lopez with a very strong start here. Stop. Be careful. So Abe right now, he's having a hard time timing Lopez. He's going to have to do something because Lopez right now is having his way. but. Getting his distance as he's circling out to his right. He's doing the right thing by getting away from that right hand of Lopez, but Lopez is jumping on him quickly out the gate. Stop. Nope. Be careful. Nope. Stop. Be careful. Okay. You've got this. You gotta keep using your legs. You gotta faint. Hey man, you're the man. You having fun? That's what it's about. You gotta cut the distance. When he goes against the ropes, that's when you gotta pressure. And go to the body, go to that liver. Look at how unorthodox Lopez is. Hands are down, following his man out, chin up in the air. That shot right there, high on the cup, cup line right there on the belt line. But that's difficult. That's so hard to train for. I mean, you see the flaws. You see the chin up in the air. You see how his hands are down, you know, and he's leaving up in shots. You have to try to time those movements of Lopez. If you don't, he's going to just walk straight Break. through. So, Tim, you see the total punches of round yes. number one. 18 total punches, 42%. Really nice. But 11 to the body. 11 connects to the body. Well, you got a tall, long frame. Yes. 
So we, we, we put out the, the height advantage. The other side of that is what it offers up for a target. Yes. And 11 body punches right away from the shorter fighter landing on the wiry frame of Abe, and he's chasing him back again. This is going to be like a lion chasing the gazelle. That's what this is going to be like tonight because Abe doesn't have an inside game. You know, he'll just tie you up, tie your hands up, doesn't really get active on the inside. So he likes to keep his feet moving, try to find exit, and he looks to line you up for shots. He looks, looks for you to walk into punches. Like that. Been such an interesting ride for Luis Alberto Lopez to become the fighter he is, to become a world. Oh, oh it was a good left hand. Just timed it well, and now he digs to the body with Abe pinned against the ropes. Landed two more body punches, tries to place the right hand, goes with the right uppercut as Abe creates separation back to the middle of the ring. Yes, look at that lead eye of Abe. Swollen. Look like it's almost shut already. Good sound left hand, but that right eye of Abe Stop is closing up. So Lopez able to do damage here. Oh wow. In round number two. Break. Wow, that's a huge hematoma on his eye. My goodness. Lopez is hitting hard. Break. Abe understands that. That's why he's trying to get the heck out of Dodge right now. He I don't mean, want this no is part. this is almost by the second you can see the swelling increasing Break, around that right eye of Rei Abe. And you can see the discoloration as well. Test. He may have damaged that orbital bone. It, it's a possibility. One, two. That was a head clash right there. Two. If he can't see out of that eye, because trust me, the doctor will go up there and see what's going on. Look at the, the fight's going to be stopped. It's look at the knockout. confidence of Lopez ways he's walking to him. There's a right hand to the body. Times another left hand Break and Abe punch. ties up. More mandatory challenger is on the south side of this one after two. The body attack and then the left hands upstairs. Ringside position as well as the referee Mark Nelson inspecting that right eye already. I mean, they got the end swell on the eye, Tess. However, they're doing it wrong. All you got to do is apply pressure. What you're doing is you're affecting that eye even more by spreading that. You're affecting the eye even more by doing that. Was that a punch? Put pressure in that spot. Put the punch in. Was that a punch? He can see. He can see. We want to know if it's a punch or not. Luis Alberto Lopez has already landed 38 power punches in two rounds. Let's see how that eye holds up here as we begin round number three. Lopez looking to defend his IBF featherweight championship, the first of our two world title fights tonight. The power punch numbers just huge in favor of the aggressive champion. This wild, awkward, <laughs> but fun style of Lopez. It's like a circus. <laughs> Of course, incredible run that he has been on to become this. The Josh Warrington oh. victory Break, to earn the punch, title. The punch. huge knockout of Mick Conley. The victory over Joette Gonzalez. And now this performance. There it is. Right uppercut right comes uppercut. in wide sweeping with the left hand. 
Look at Abe trying to sway. He's trying to just load up with a shot. Going into that C slot. Dipping down, trying to loop a shot over the top and catch Lopez on the way in. But Lopez, too coordinated, too athletic. Good timing as well. Left hand to the body. There's a back southpaw power hand from Abe, and yet Lopez walks right through it. Lopez making his number one contender look like nothing. Complete domination. Abe on a six-fight win streak. Last three victories, all 12-round unanimous decisions. But it has been an uphill battle right from the start. Lands the left hand, and Lopez seemingly unaffected as he triples up the right hand, wraps around the left, around the elbow, and then doubles it up, going upstairs. <laughs> and just calmly and confidently walking forward against his opponent. I'm laughing because it's just, it's just the way he's walking forward is like, you know, you just try to just. Well, he's unthreatened. Yeah. <laughs> he's unthreatened. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now Abe is posting. Just yeah. creating trying to create some, some space, some distance, because he's had struggle to keep Lopez off of him. So he posts with that southpaw jab. Right back to the body. There's a left hand that goes up top from Abe. And Lopez just sits in the pocket against him, constantly closing the gap. Another left hand to the body. Right uppercut. That body shot may have affected him. Straight right hand from the champ. He can't see anything coming from that left side. Nothing coming from that right side, meaning the left side of Lopez. Left hook, it'd be left hook city for me. CompuBox has Lopez, the champion, landing 60% of his body punches to this point. Final seconds of round three, and it's much of the same. Dominating performance from the champion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. It's not going to get better in the water. Oh, then It looks like the swan's going down. Me. Oh, he's a little tired. It looks like uh, he's getting tired. What do you think? Does it hurt? No, not really. Ask him if he can see. That's all I ask. How many fingers? How many fingers? Water, water. They're literally irritating that eye even more. This is so easy. Easy for Lopez. Having a good time. Ringside physician is going to examine that eye and that vision one more time. The swelling developed very early on in round number two. We're through three here. Abe has absorbed 57 power punches in just three rounds. Because if this gets bigger, I should call it quick. If he's taking punches, yeah. I'll call time and have you look at it. And you heard the ringside position time saying in. he has to be careful. If the swelling gets bigger, it's over. So we will monitor that. And what an attractive target for Lopez. But the target of choice has been the body. 35 body punches landed, Tim, through three rounds? That's how you slow down the opponent. That's how you keep him still. You hit him with body shots like that. Take his legs from him. Take his heart from him. Champion goes back to the body again. And right eye nearly shut. On the challenger. He's backed up into that corner. Right hand to the body again from Lopez. Third defense of his world title. 
comes in having won 12 in a row. Remember, there were some choppy waters earlier in his career. It's a guy with two losses, but got the big opportunity and took advantage, and a fighter who's gotten better deeper into his career. You always talk about the confidence that a champion gets just by what you can see that with you can see the confidence you can see the experience that he's having he knows it's just a matter of time he's trying to line up the perfect shot to end this fight <laughs> are you seeing the law from lopez these long range sweeping punches and then he follows them up I'll be, I'll be right now. I was looking at time, Lopez, now. Just a little lulls in, in his action. That's what he's doing. Nearly Lopez turned him around. Yep. Chased him with the right hand. Break. See, but Lopez is having a hard time, besides landing on the body, you know, efficiently. He's, he's having a hard time landing on the face or on the side of the head. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> did you see the movement? Yeah, he took the did? movement, angled over to the left, and then <laughs> came with the right. Look at him sweeping with these left hooks, just closing the gap, constantly pressuring Abe. Abe trying to offer up something. Some kind of challenge, right? Some kind of challenge. Just anything to keep the world champion off of him. He doing get, get off me punches. That's what he's throwing. Get off me, please. Give me space. No, I got to give it to him. He has a ton of heart. He's still in it, even with his eye messed up like that. He's still trying to land something. And we're going to have to listen into this conversation at the end of round number four as the ringside physician has constantly been monitoring that right eye of Abe, and things are not getting better. Let's listen in. Take you back to round number two, Tim. This is the punch, the left hand from Lopez that starts the damage to the eye. Okay. Check it out. You see him in flight right there. Boom, thumb in the eye. That's a thumb. Exactly. I had a feeling it was a thumb in the eye. Because it swells so quickly. Oh, that's, it's that's how you know. Yeah, it was instant. It's a thumb in the eye. And it just pierced. And now he, they send him out for round number five. Lopez has landed 86 of 202 punches. 74 of the 86 are power punches. 44 body shots. Look, Lopez has never been down, never. Never been down, amateur or pro. However, if he gets a little bit too complacent, you just never know. You might run into something that you didn't expect that was going to hurt you and hit you in the right spot and put you down. So he has to be responsible as well because Abe's looking for that shot. Mark Kriegel, not much drama when it comes to scoring this early. No, but I don't know what to compare Lopez's style to. It's like a Saturday morning cartoon, but there's this arrogance with which he strides forward, chin up, hands down, because he knows nothing's coming back, or at least nothing he has to respect. Abe's kind of grabbed that rhythm now of Lopez, and now Lopez is trying to draw in Abe, trying to get him to take a little risk, open himself up so he can make him pay. He missed badly with that shot. Oh, and the left hand sends him back against that same combination that he's fallen in love with. Right hand to the body, a chase down left. If I'm Lopez, what I'm, what I'm focusing on is the body. You focus on the body, the head will fall. Eventually, he'll be able to land that, that head shot that he's looking for. But he has to get a little bit more discipline with his shots. Keep punishing the body of Bobby.
Uh, but he's doing a little bit better job with defensively, using his legs and getting out of range and finding exits like that. I just spoke with Nobu, our translator, and he told me this corner has no intention of stopping the fight. The doctor, though, is concerned, and the only concern is if Abe cannot see, they will stop the fight. But the corner's happy with what he's doing with one eye. And Bernardo mentions, Bernardo mentions Nobu Nikushima, who, you know, there are a lot of different levels of being a translator when it comes to the international game of boxing, but Nobu has a ton of experience at the championship level. This is not somebody who, where it's going to get lost in translation or not know the certain nuances of what's happening with a ringside position. So the messaging between Corner and Nobu managing the message in his translation to the ringside position is going to be spot on in yes. terms of what their intentions are and how they see it. It's a championship fight. This is what he's been waiting on his entire career. You know, if, 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 take shots like that. I'm just going to let you know. I mean, just mauling him to the final seconds of round number five. Fight might be stopped test this round. That's enough. That's fine. That is the first time since that big left hand was landed in the second round where the ringside position didn't stop to examine the eye before yeah. sending him out. So they send him out for round number six. It has been a constant onslaught from the champion Louis Alberto Lopez. Remember, this is the first of our two featherweight world championship fights. We will have Ray Ford from Camden, New Jersey, the undefeated young contender coming off a career best win, but the longest layoff of his career going up against Otebek Kolmatov, the 12-0 Uzbekistan fighter who trains in the United States, got 11 knockouts. That is a very intriguing championship fight in this same division coming up in moments. So the reason why they didn't stop the matches is because Abe is starting to get himself in a little rhythm. He's having some, some success. And plus, Lopez hasn't been able to land something really significant other than that, that big shot at, towards the end of that last round. But trust me, if Lopez can put together threes and fours, threes and fours on a pretty consistent, this fight will be stopped. But Abe is just slipping out of range. And Lopez right, right now missing badly. Lopez looked bored to me. He like, honestly he got off he looks, such a strong start. No, but I'm just saying he looks bored to me. He just he, he's just like, man, can you just stay still so I can knock you out? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he wants to be entertaining. That's his yes. whole thing. He wants to deliver to the fans, trying to wrap around the guard to the body. See if he try, there he goes, trying to split the guard with the uppercut. Abe looking yep, to land that straight is. left hand. Oh yeah, Abe having success again. It's because Lopez is allowing him. He wants him to stay still. That's what he wants him to do. He wants him to get comfortable. And he wants to catch him in between shots. But Abe is not standing there admiring his work. He's getting off and then he's, he's moving. He's out of the way. Bye. Oh, straight left hand from my bed. No effect, though, Tess. Not at all. Time! 
Oh, End of six for the guy who says, hey, got to take care of this mandatory. And then it's all about working his way towards unification. He has set that course with what he's done in the first half of this fight, Tim. Easy work. Not difficult whatsoever. You know, Lopez doing what Lopez does. Kind of like theatrical, right? Leaping in with shots, being creative with his combinations. Totally exposed. Big left hook right there. Thumb in the eye, which caused that embrasion over the left eye or the right eye of Abe. But Abe right now, he's, he's trying to mount some sort of attack. Nothing, nothing really serious right now. He's just getting off because Lopez is allowing him to have some success. He's allowing him. But you see the right, the punch difference right there from Lopez. 60 body shots, trying to slow down Abe. He knew exactly what Abe was gonna do. That tells you that they watched a massive amount of film. They knew what they were up against and they prepared for it tonight. You know, and it wasn't that long ago where this was a fighter that, you know, in terms of the industry lexicon was set up as the B-side for some undefeated fighters who were Prospects looking to be contenders. There was a fight against Gabe Flores, I remember, yeah. where it was, you know, Gabe Flores was this ascendant guy with big crowds, went through Gabe Flores, beat Isaac Lowe, who we've seen many times doing fights in, in the UK, and then becomes the mandatory for Josh Warrington. And what does he do? Becomes world champion. Yeah. And now he's on this great run. Nine consecutive fights he won to earn the title shot, and now this is his third defense of his world title for on Mr. the road test yeah that's right on the road it completely unaffected and and you know in talking to him yesterday he will make any fight he doesn't care he's a legacy kind of guy but that's he's what boxing, boxing should be guy. about test that's what boxing should be about you know you you know the, the people that can change boxing you know we blame and we point fingers the fighters they're the ones that can change boxing they're the ones that can demand the fights the fights that the fans wants to see that's who can change boxing. Well, I'll tell you in terms of wanting to see a certain fight, the world title fight that's coming up next, I think everybody is so curious to see how it plays out. Ray Ford's taking on that guy right there, Odebeck Kolmatov, who's 12-0 with 11 knockouts, had a good amateur career, but as a pro, the style fits. He's the number one ranked contender, fighting for the vacant WBA belt against New Jersey's Ray Ford, who's coming off his career best win as well. See some frustration coming from Yes, Lopez. you do. <laughs> Lopez is like, stay still. I'm trying, he's trying to end this right now in Israel. He is trying to end this fight right now. And he's looking for the uppercut in doing so. Trying to cut off the ring, taking that move to the left. Now he's got him pinned against the ropes. He's getting a little bit more consistent with his offense too, Tess. Starting to find home more of his punches. Ooh, oh, look, look at that, that eye. eye. Oh my goodness. That eye has gotten guy of Abe. Oh, uppercut right on that eye too. See, I like what Lopez is doing. He's taking steam off his punches and now he's just trying to touch. Abe, that's a smart move by him. Oh. Abe trying to time it between punches, and Lopez just keeps pouring it on. He ate that shot like Pac-Man. He really did. Snaps his head back. A little bit of blood now. As he sends him off to the left. Put your arms here. I want some water. You all right? Take a deep breath. You're doing very well here. The fans are loving this. Hey, you just need to keep using your lateral movements and go to the body. He's done. He's just barely getting up every time from that corner. You're doing well, kid. 
He doesn't have a level to fight with you. Defend yourself. Okay. Luis Alberto Lopez, so accurate tonight. You see blood coming from the nose. You see the increased swelling of the right eye of Abe and the accuracy of Lopez and the effectiveness has been on target. He's landing 43% of his total punches. They've been tracking him on CompuBox in his more recent fights at just under 27%. That's about the featherweight average, but tonight 43% of the punches landed for the IBF featherweight world champion, Luis Alberto Lopez. Round number eight. The only way Abe wins this fight is he needs a knockout. That's the only way. We have Lopez <laughs> playing to the crowd and then going on an all-out assault. That's it. That's it. <laughs> TKO victory. Okay. They started wow. in San. Luis Alberto Lopez responded. He hit the gas pedal, and that was enough for Mark Nelson to say the fight is over. TKO victory for Luis Alberto Lopez as he retains the IBM featherweight championship of the world. Test. That's how you cut off the ring. That's how you do it. Turn it up. Show the referee something completely different. Turned up the pace. Turned up the heat. Turned up the combinations. That's experience right there. That is experience right there. He Look, plays for the crowd, and he's this. like, "Here I come. Here I come." Not a lot of shots landing. Not at all. However, the referee steps in and says, I've seen enough of this. This is child's play. I've been letting this going on too That's long. Okay, You're completely okay. outgunned, young man. Okay. I'm going to save you for another chance at the world title. Thoroughly outgunned. As in 135 power punches landed, 71 to the body. And what I find so interesting, and we were able to listen into the corner before that eighth round. Remember a corner where Armando Valenzuela fell ill, so Arturo Valdovinos stepped in. And he said to Lopez, the fans are loving this. The fans are loving this. And that's big to Lopez. That is. And then what did he do? He played to the fans and closed the show. Yes, he did. In great fashion, Tess. Loved every minute of it. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside Turning Stone Resort Casino, referee Mark Nelson calls a stop to this bout at 39 seconds of round number eight for your winner by technical knockout. And still, IBF featherweight champion of the world, Luis Alberto El Venado. Third defense of his world title. Now 4-0 with two knockouts in world championship fights. He has gotten better as his career.